Last time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I figured I was out searching for about an hour. So I guess it was around uh, 12, yeah. <coughs> You're not sure? Hey, 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 don't give me that face. I like so, so, some sort of human sundial, okay? People use watches these days, Larry. And now, back to objecting to people. If you just do it, it'll turn out okay. Hey everyone! It is January 15th, 2019. You're watching another episode of Phoenix Wright is Attorney. I'm doing two in a row. So, let's get to it. Last time, we had a little trial where Larry, of all people, saved the day. What's up with that? But, they were moving on. Investigating day three of Turn It About Goodbyes. What new truth will come out today? Let's find out. Let's see if my voice can do this two days in a row. Let's go. December 27th to 11 p.m. Redding Co. Law Offices. Mm. What was Mr. Edworth talking about? A memory of a crime I that I committed, Governor. A memory of our murder. Do you really think Mr. Edworth killed? I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Not Edgeworth! Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he'd never take someone's life. Never, I say. Never, Maya. Nick! Yo, man, how everyone doing? It's... It's Larry! It's Larry! I'm sweating for some reason! I don't know why! What do you think of my performance today, man? Man, man, man? I have swooning in the aisles! Huh, Maya? Swooning? Me? I do remember feeling faint. Right on, man. Tell me the truth. It was it was like love at first sight, right? Totally like love. <laughs> right, Nick? Huh? Me? Uh, well, maybe my heart did skip a beat or two or 25. Mm. I think we do better than that. Come on, come on. I see the edge in there, dude. Edgy, edgy man, I saved his life. You guys should be bowing before me, man. Yeah, bow before your hero. Day's trial. Larry, I hate to say this, but you did help out in the trial today. Oh God, I don't know how, but you did. 
He did! Hooray! If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty. Ha 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 but yeah, but serious, Nick. That bookshop caretaker is pretty, is, is pretty suspicious, man. Edgy, Edgy ain't off the hook yet. Way to spoil the mood, Larry! Hey. I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know, man. Just sitting in the audience. But from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty, well, edgy. I mean, can you really know if he's telling the truth about that night, man? He might be lying, man. Nick? I don't know. But what I do know is... I'm going to believe in you two until the end. Us? Two? Edgeworth and who else? You mean me, right? <laughs> nah, man, he means me, right, Nick? Yeah, you, Larry. Not me! You don't believe in me, Nick! But why are you, Larry? Maya angry! Maya smash! Huh? I'm actually... Yeah, man, why me, Nick? didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait! Was that when you two were classmates? Yes, in grade school. They saved me. Miles and Larry. They saved me and I'll never forget it. That's why I became the defense attorney, you know. What? Hey, hey, Larry! What's he talking about? Huh, man? Oh, um. Eh, sorry, I kind of forgot, man. Okay, okay. Kind of a long story, but so hang in there. After these messages. This king. It was the beginning of spring, fourth grade. I was on trial. A class trial. A c c c c class trial? 
last trial. You remember Larry, right? Spring, fourth grade. Kim, my class class last morning stole them. Let's, <coughs> let's, let's money. Our school is really small. Every month, kids would bring an envelope with money for lunch from home. Huh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared with $38 still inside. Oh yeah, man, now that you do mention it, I do remember that, man. See why you forget, oh. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during PE class. I, I was coming down with a cold that day, so I skipped PE that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it? Yeah, the kid in class that I see we put on trial. Me, Phoenix Wright, the protagonist of this story. That's never going to happen. Well, it happened once, but that doesn't count. Trial? So this next day we, hold, we held a courtroom trial with me as the defendant. I didn't do it, man. I didn't do it. Guilty, he did it. Guilty. It was you, thief. Give me the money back. Here's the meanie. Don't want to play with him. Admit you did it. You can have the truth. Tell us the truth. I'm not play with you anymore. Yeah, yeah, no problem in my research. I'll do it. Really. I'm going to try the With these cents, I loaned you. Hey, did you loan the, the regular day? Now, Phoenix. Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. In the end, the teacher, even the teacher thought I'd done it. Apologize to the class, Phoenix. I didn't know what was happening. I was so sad, I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. I got and done it. I tried to apologize. I went over to where the boy was sitting. That's when it happened. He shouldn't have to apologize, Governor. The only thing that belongs to this trial is evidence, governor. Anything else has no place. So I'll be, you shall be a to yourself. Amateurs. Miles. Wasn't you who stole my money? Was it? No. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting, you did it, but no one has any proof. That's why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. But Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, yeah, he did. He's the one. We don't need proof. Make him say he's sorry. Why don't you all shut up? It's not always it. Everyone getting up and picking on one person. Usually me, man, but today it's, today it's, it's Feeny. Look at how he feels, man. 
He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. Very well. I already placed the money myself. This class trial is over. That's how it happened. After that, the three of us were always friends. Wow! I had no idea! Maya said... Yeah, man, I had no idea either. I, I mean, I forgot. That's when I learned what it meant to be alone. Totally alone without a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. A very good thing. My head is very happy. Um, yeah, well. I was just lucky I took that day off from school. If I had been there, they would have thought I'd done it. So I kind of took it personally, I see. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Maya happy now! Smiley Maya! Anyway, Edgeworth and I talked after class, after that class trial. That's when I heard that the father was the defense attorney. I remember his eyes would shine when he, when he talked about his father. <coughs> I'm going to be the defense attorney, just like my dad, governors. A famous defense attorney. Then a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. The DL6 incident. Oh, no, 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 no. The DL6 incident! Right, I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. That's so sad! It was several years later when I heard Edward's name again. There's an article about him in the newspaper. Headline was something like Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney. Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything guilty verdict. Anything. But why, man? What happened? I mean, I thought the edgy I used to know it all. That's what I thought too. I'm trying to get in touch with him. I don't know how many times. Never replied. I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. I couldn't just drop in, drop it though. I wanted to meet him to learn why he had become who he who he became. That's why I decided. Meep. Wait, you don't mean. That's why. That's why you became a defense attorney to meet Edgeworth. If I was a defense attorney, I knew you had to meet me, whether he wanted to or not. In court. Mm. Edgeworth believed in me, and I believe in him. He's in pain, 
and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edsworth. I'm the only one who can help him. Well, Nick, man, so is that why you help? So, so is that why you help me out for free? Uh, sure, yeah. I helped you because you, I believed in you. And also you couldn't pay me, probably, but, you know. But except I don't remember saying I'd do it for free. Huh, Nick, man. Nick. Nick! We have to save Mr. Edgeworth. It was the last thing we do, okay? The last thing! Right, it very it very well may be. First, there's the rental boat shop caretaker. We need to find out who or what he is. I still for who. I think we got some of this evidence I no longer need. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Profile. Let's see. My Fay. Eight seventeen. My little sister currently trained to become a spirit medium. I was at age twenty four. Twin in this case. The gumshoe, 30. Before posting, charged with this investigation. Gregory Edgeworth, deceased. The victim of the DLC incident 15 years ago. Miles' father. A lot of heart, 22. The state photographer, trying to photograph Gordy. Larry Butts, 23. A friend and a former classmate, also my first client, often caused her trouble. Marvin Grossberg, 24. My learned defense attorney and my mentor. Robert Hammond, age 48. Okay, also the defense attorney in the DLC 6 incident. M Misty Fate, 46. Maya Mia's. Mia Maya's mother, the spirit medium, disappeared after the DL6 incident. Manro Fong Karma, 865. Virgin prosecutor who has been lost the case in 40 years. Career, Edward's mentor. Old caretaker, age, eh. Yeah. Caretaker of the boat rental shop in Gordon Lake Park. He thinks he runs a restaurant. Alright, let's go. The Gourd Lake. Gourd Lake Park entrance. Hey, pal! Long time no see. Oh! Detective Gumshoe! Close one today, huh? I got so worked up, I got my tie in half, pal. Uh, sorry about that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, pal, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scandal in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now, I'm off to catch me a criminal. Shoe sure is active today. Oh, one other thing, pal. Eek! I don't, don't go in the woods today. The woods? Where Lotta was camping. The 
the woods are off the limits of camping, and apparently the park ranger found out, pal. He got pretty mad. Don't go in for a while. I guess Slada's in a lot of trouble. I made a pun. I'm funny. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Public beach. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore! My smash! You don't talk about the steel samurai that way, Phoenix! Looks like the hot dog stands close, too. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess Larry's been too busy at the trial to show up for work. Boat rental shop. The old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Meep. Ahem. I let clean a throat anywhere. Ah, oh, hello. What might you be doing here? Out for a walk? Hmm? Ah, the days of my youth, like a scent of fresh lemon, you see. Mr. Grossberg! This is no time for idle re reminiscing! M Mr. Edwards' trial ends tomorrow! Yeah, that, 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 that's true, yes. But from what I saw, from what I saw today's trial, Edward should be fine, right? Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Ho ho ho! What do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. If if you find out anything, come by my office at once. I mean, we'd offer you some assistance. Thanks. Bye. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyways? Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Caretaker Shack. Hmm. Nobody's home! Hello! Hello! Squawk! Hey! It's Polly! I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly? Hello! Hello! Squawk! I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself! Hello, hello, squawk! Maybe I should take care of Polly Nick. You probably shouldn't just kidnap her. The police know about her anyways. I'm sure to do something. Well, okay, but I want a birdie, Nick. Give me a parrot. 
Sorry, Polly. He says, I can't take you. Great. Now the bird's going to hate me. Hello. Hello. Jerk. Squawk. Everything's cold. Lucky get turn his heater on. He's been back here since the trial. Yeah, that's right. Polly! What's the number to the safe? Tell 28! Squawk! Let's open it, Nick! Come on! I'm sure there's any money in there. Oh! Uh, but hey! He keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there! <clears throat> I'm not so sure. Okay. Okay, Nick. Let's see what's in there. Well, I guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Ah, uh, boring. Hmm, there's no name on the signature on this thing. It's handwritten in some very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Edgeworth? Nick! N -n 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 Nick! Why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? I don't know, how do I know? I'm gonna, read, I'm gonna read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Also says this is your last chance. Now is the time to get your get revenge on two men who ruined your life. The rest of the brother goes to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Climbing Edgeworth on the lake to the lake, getting the, the, on the boat, firing twice. I forgot they in court. I'm I'm awesome. I must be an I must be psychic. It's all here in perfect detail. What do you think it means, Nick? No, I don't I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for the, for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? I don't know. Or oh, is that Maya talking? God, I mis misspelled it. Ugh. Look, I don't know, okay? One thing is... One thing's for certain. This letter is an, is an amazing clue. Add letter to save from, to the court record. All right. Out of the boat. Yeah, out of the shack. Move away from the boat. To the entrance. And then the long walk to the Eastern Center. Or drive. Probably drive. Or it's the anime. A bike ride. Eastern Center, visitor's room. You look as grim as ever. Hmp. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth, I heard the story about the class.
Class trial! Class trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? Pfft. No, I don't remember. They think me remember every little detail of my life. I have people for that. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In fourth grade? Lunch money? Uh, 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 yeah, I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, they're probably only married to me anyways. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, that's not the kind of thing you do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Uh, maybe. Yeah, but... I think you changed too much, as worth. Perhaps. Prosecute. Hey, Edgeworth, why do you become a prosecutor anyways? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? I couldn't let myself deny reality like you, Governor. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? I'm sorry, right, but I'm not that good of a, of a person. One suspect was the apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes, the man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yanni Yogi. He had to be the shooter, any way you look at it. Yet, he was found innocent. The defense attorney got him off the hook. That would be Robert Hammond. On that day, 15 years ago. Three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. I had lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? And even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator, Governor. That was the crooks the crux of, of Yogi's attorney's attempt in a court. He claimed Yanni Yogi had been not of sound mind due to oxygen deprivation. Yogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. That's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. I learned everything I know from, of courtroom edit techniques from him. So, he's like my sister, he's like my sister was to you, Nick. He's a perfectionist in all things, Governor. 
in court, his, in his personal life. He's obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he's taken on, none were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent. Ever. But, but that. I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to, to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does, Governor, is, is his job to find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case, it's not impossible to find a weakness in him. If the weakness appear, he would do any, everything in his power to make it go away. Um, Edgeworth? If what you're saying is true, you're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow. He's right! Now's no time to break the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth! Don't worry! Maya will smash him! Hmm. <laughs> It's a strange situation in which I find my, uh, myself, I admit. No kidding. I think for you. Huh. Huh. This room. A pro. Percent. <laughs> wow. May I say he presented with help? Edgeworth, see this letter? Hmm? This came out of the safe in the, in the shack with that boat where no taker lives. I see. Hmm. Revenge? On me? Edgeworth? Who was that old? Who was that old guy anyway? I I don't know. Could he be an innocent defendant? You got declared guilty or something? <sighs> nice, right? But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So he was following this letter then. Which means there was someone else behind it. All's the time to get the revenge on the, on the two men who've ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond? It also says, this is your last chance. Last chance, wait, maybe. Maybe he's talking about the Statue of Limitations on the DL6 incident. Hmm. Wait. Wait, the old man. The old man. What? What? What is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. 
Could he be Yogi? Yogi? Yogi the bear? But I didn't see him the picnic basket. No, Maya. The suspect in DL6 incident, the one who was found innocent. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. Kind of, kind, of, kind of like the guy behind me right now. We just happened to be in an elevator together 15 years ago. Earthquake. The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever, Governor. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Help! Can't breathe! Quiet! I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get. I want to get out. Help us get out. Don't shout. You're just using. You just use up more oxygen. Yeah. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in the hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. In court, y Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. It was questionable. Totally questionable. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and, and stress had caused temporarily, temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court and Yogi was found innocent. Huh? But isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? Hmm. Alright. Yeah? There's something that's troubled me this past few days, Governor. I didn't know whether I not to tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. Are you committed? A memory of a murder. I think, I think that time, time has come to tell all. For the last 15 years, Governor, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Uh, 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 Edgeworth, I'm used to talk right now. There's a, there's a police officer right behind you. He can hear you. Oh, him, Governor, don't worry about him. Officer, cover your ears. Yes, yes, sir. Do 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 do. I can't breathe. Why is it quiet? It gets like any easier. I want to get out. Help! Help us get out! Don't shout. Use all the more oxygen. I I can't breathe. You you using up you using up my air. What? Stop breathing my air. I'll, I'll stop you. Ah, what? What are you? St 
stop breathing my air. No, father. He's attacking father. <coughs> then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In a day, I pick up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! I throw it. Bang! Roar! I heard... And with that scream, I awake. It was Braun Strowman. I heard that day. It's a bone chilling scream. He, he said, somebody's gonna get these hands. A scream that rang in my ears for the past 15 years. Meep! But, 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 That was a dream, right? Right? Hmm. That thought that only kept, kept me sane for the last 15 years. What if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut shout out memories in self-defense. Did I do that? Am I just protecting myself? Maybe it, it was I who killed my father. What? You think about it that way, the letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why you want your revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth, you mean it was me, Governor. I was the true criminal sense of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. Which we can do, like it or not. But there's someone else who knows a lot about the L6 incident. Maybe. Meep! There is Nick! There is someone who knows about the L6! Law offices. Mr. Grossberg! Ah, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding! I can't believe you're not! Does Maya have to smack a bitch? My, 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 my. Just calm down and tell old Grossberg what's happened, hmm? I see. So, Edward dreamt he shot his own father. <laughs> it's only a dream! Only a dream, I say! Hmm. 
I wonder. Mm, what? That's the case, and why you two look so troubled, hmm? Well, well. Also, consider this. Yogi certainly, Yogi certainly, Yogi certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep, he want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise. The Edgeworth dream was not a dream. It was real. As you imagined. Miles Edgeworth threw the gun, the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired. The deed was done. Yogi was the, was a, was suspected of murder, and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. That's where you sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It was his last chance, of course, with the statute of limitations so close. Fifteen years! I thought murder had no statute of limitations. But I guess it's fifteen years! What do you know about Edward's father? Mm -hmm. He was a defense attorney without Pierre. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, he may have, ha have had one Pierre, now I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Fey. My sister? Gregory, Gregory Edgeworth was very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man. Ford's testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result? He, he has had a perfect win record in court. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And he lost and died in despair, as it were. Despair. I see. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the spirit, po po the police called on the spirit medium. The spirit police. No. That was your mother, Misty Fay. I am Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yanni Yogi. Yet, Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. She abandoned me and Mia. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, yeah, now that I think about it, it seems the only one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? 
It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility, nonetheless. We're quite sorry. I should say that. Oh, 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 so this is the letter. It does seem that Yogi was following that letter when he killed Hammond. <coughs> but why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney. But he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. So why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially, he was ruined. Huh? You understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen Tannerine be somewhere before, a long time ago. But Tannerine was it? You have any idea who wrote this? Was it Yanni Yogi? Maybe it was Yanni Yogi? Yanni Yogi. <laughs> you, you, cl you claim he wrote himself this letter, then follow his own instructions? Uh, yeah, I guess that would be what happened. <laughs> perhaps, you, perhaps you think Mr. Yogi has a personality, huh? I, guess, I think it's a possibility, yes. Hmm. No, I think not. I, 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 I do not notice Yogi in any case. There's no way I recognize this handwriting. Oh, right. That's right, I'll ask you again. You have any idea who wrote this letter? It was Miles Hesworth! Miles Hesworth? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why in heaven did he write something like this? Why is letter attempt to destroy Miles? Before you speak, Greenhorn. Uh oh, he's angry. Think again. Only the last person left. Could it be Manfred von Karma? Von Karma, why would he have something to do with this? Okay, was that the other two pe choices? Um, well, I'm not sure. Von Karma, Von Karma. Wait, you're right, my boy. This is Von Karma's right. This is Von Karma's handwriting. I'm sure of it. I see all the time in court reports. What? But 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 that means. The one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred, Manfred von Karma himself. What does this mean then? Why would von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? If it was truly Von Karma who wrote the letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. Hmm? He'll say this much tomorrow in court, I, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no! But, 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 how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare? Hmm. 
Hmm. That I do not know. Yet, I do know that von Karma is both a perfectionist, is, is both persistent and a perfectionist. He may be seeking to, to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? Oh no, that, that's not me. What do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. What happened in that trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow! It must, it must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A uh, vacation? Yes, unusual event for the man. That was his first and the last vacation he's, ever, he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Nick, I'm on vacation! I want to go to Disney World! Take me to Splash Mountain, Nick! I'd like to go to the sea or to the mountains! Don't tell me they've been to Europe! Nick! I want to go to Paris and London. I want to see the Apple Tower, Nick. You should try to do that vacation, Maya. Any case, that was the only time he took a vacation. That was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Ah, if you wanted to keep a perfect record so badly. Oh, you think it's just a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Von Karma's gonna bring up DL6. You can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Um, yes, Mr. Wright. I can say this. But even accidental murder is a murder, you know. I know that. That's believing in Edward's innocence. I can't believe he killed somebody. But, 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 Nick! Mr. Edward did not do it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. The police materials, hmm? Let's go.
criminal police department criminal affairs. Hardly, there's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be looking for the old guy, Yogi. Ah, oh, it's you. I don't think Gunsu should be back today. Getting out late looking for some bun. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real! Um, we're wondering if we can check out the, the record room again! Well, nah, I can't have anyone, just anyone running around there. But I guess Fun Karma's in there now, anyway. You know, as long as he's there. Fun Karma? Yes, he just arrived, actually. Fun Karma's in the record room. What is that thing? Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the blue badger! That's my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I, I see. How nice. Tomorrow, I'll present for the department at last. I'm gonna make sure people... I'm gonna make sure they know how much people like the blue badger. Uh, good luck. This will be the chief of the detectives here. This computer screen. What? That's not possible. The world ended yesterday? Reading the predictions for the future on someone's homepage. Detectives. Something to himself. How about your hobbies? Well, I like to take out some now and then. I'll be doing some image training for a first date. It's Hartman's record room. Yesterday, I'm sure they had to have time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. Von Karma. Huh? Drawers here is open. Somebody must have been looking at it recently. The label says unsolved cases evidence. Hmm, unsolved cases. Nick, the file for DL six. It's completely empty. What? What are you doing in here? You know my name. Huh? Have we met? Well, what are you saying? We see each other uh, every day, don't we? We're Miles Edwards' defense team. Defense team? <laughs> I beg your pardon. You see, I barely remember. I, re I barely remember defense attorneys. They're like bucks to me. Needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edward's mentor. Edgeworth. Um, um, Mr. Edgeworth was your student, right? Hmm. <laughs> A romanticist who could never shed that veneer of amateurism. <coughs> God. Oh God. Just like his father. Always second rate. Mr. Von Karma. You 
got an extra random Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Me? Aggressive against the mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record. Humph! So you did. But what I don't get is... Why, why do you take a son, why do you take a son on, under, under your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Tomorrow's the last, the last day of, of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a t attorney last this long. Still, you lose in the end. Everyone loses to Von Karma. Miles Edward for the his own guilt. His guilt 15 years ago, you mean? You're quite the researcher. You've done your homework so, so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edward will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So Von Karma is going to be up DL6 in court tomorrow. Oh yeah? Mr. Von Karma, I look at this. Hmm? This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi. Pfft. How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name. He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. Meep. So you admit it, Maya Smash. You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter. Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for bringing trouble to bring. Thank you for bringing the trouble to bring it to me. You saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? 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 Nick! What is that thing? A stun gun of self-defense, usually. Indeed. Six hundred. Thousand volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. Six hundred thousand. Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. Now give me that letter. No. No. Whoa! What are you? Way. Whoa! Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, he got us. The letter. The letter's gone, of course. He took DL6 evidence. All of it. Like that'd be no clues. Wait. Maya jumped first. Maya! Is she okay? Maya! Maya! Neep! Maya, open up your eyes! Oh. I'm hungry, Nick! I want a burger! Maya! Yeah? The letter! Did he take it? Uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, but more importantly, are you okay? I, I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one 
shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Maya! Girl, that's to be something I can. That's why I can help her. Something about her self confidence first. Huh? Maya, she's holding something. What is this? A bullet? Yell 6 incident evidence number 7. Taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember. Von Karm was holding this when Maya jumped him. So he's been put it in pocket. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. Definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. To be continued. Oh my god. This one crime is a bitch. He tastes Maya. No one gets away with that. Will, will, will Von Karma come to him tomorrow? Or will, will Gregory Edgeworth be found innocent? Guilty, I mean. I don't know. But find out next time. Phoenix Wright is attorney. No. Subscribe and thumb up the video. Leave a comment down below. On what you think is going to happen. Never stop learning. And enjoy the randomness. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.